Hey YouTube, Jason here with Day Train Fearless. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new, welcome. Make sure you guys hit the like button and subscribe. And also make sure you check out my website, daytrainfearless.com to follow along with the S&P E-mini Futures uh, Weekly Trade Zones. $50 for a lifetime subscription. That's it, um, which are support and resistant levels where the market should turn. But as always, let's jump right into this video. This is the best day trading secrets. Um, this is actually something that's really cool uh, for uh, day trading if you if you want to kind of scalp or look for a couple points, but something very simple, something very basic. This is called the eight. 20 moving average so um i'm gonna just come in here right and what we have is the moving average crossover exponential 820 those are these guys here right the little arrows and then we just have a basic eight in a 20 period moving average here's our 20 here's our eight um remember these are exponential moving averages so if you want to do this with your own chart right um, and so all we're looking for is usually when price is consulting like this is not when you want to take any of these trades, right? But what you do want is you want to see something kind of like bounce here, right? And then if we actually take out a low like here, right, which is a base, so price is falling, we bounce. If we start to take out this low, you see kind of bounce, bounce, and then we go, what you're looking for is you're looking for price to come back to the eight period. This turquoise uh, line is the eight period, and then this is the 20 period. This yellow line is the 200, but we're, all we care about are these two right here. So what you're looking for is price to kind of start to fall we're making we're now making lower lows right and lower highs we could see lower highs lower lows we start to fall and then when price bounces back into the 20 period moving at or sorry the eight period uh ema you want to look for the short Okay, so as we get it up here, look for the short and then look at the continuation lower. Now, I'm on the two minute, you could use a one minute, whatever time frame. I actually like the two minute, a little bit less noise, not as much whippiness and a little more trending. If you want to go to a five minute, 15, whatever time frame you want, it'll work. Just understand um, you're going to get bigger moves with different time frames. But with that being said, our stop would be a close above the 20 period. Okay, so so right here, look at this, right? Price falls, we bounce, and then fall, 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 right? Here we go, we bounce again, get right up near it, kind of quick little pullback, but now you start to see, okay, that was maybe the flush. Remember, context of market is everything are we way oversold on the rsi or stochastics right um if you're using an rsi are we what is there divergence all these little things that you want to look for so what happens is let's say you got a uh, short here you won't be stopped out until this candle actually closed but hopefully you're not riding this out because we're on the two minute how far do you think we're going to go before it kind of changes course right so watch watch this right price breaks above okay and like i said sometimes you want to look for a re like a pullback right now will i get along here no because there's the divergence right look at this you got divergence here on this pullback is we kind of bounce double bottom i'm really not going to do that because it's short into that because that would be a bullish yes it worked but it's not something i would have traded 
then I would have rather look for a price to break, make new lows, and then look to short on the bounce. But way I've taken this trade, no, because we have divergence. And if you know me with all my videos, I, I love my divergence, right? It's a telltale. And look at this. You really want to have gotten a big move, and then we kind of rally. You see the rotation back up. And then you start to see price fall again. Now, what I would do is I would probably be patient and wait for price to reverse trend like here, okay? But if I look to the left of the market, there's all this consolidation. Remember, I don't want to see things to the left of the chart, right? Consolidation. I would rather take this trade and wait for price to break above where there's really nothing but clean sky ahead, right? Or really break down. So let's see what happens. So here we go. We're, we're starting to break down here. Okay, we break down, but it's just a little bit. And then a big uh, massive rally, right? Am I going to short into this huge green bar? Probably not. Again, I'm going to wait. And if we take out these lows, then I would look for a potential uh, long, right? Or sorry, for a potential short. But what's happening is we're kind of making these new lows. We have divergence. I'm going to be patient. The pro And I know a lot of these trades aren't working, but I'm trying to help you understand what to look for. Look at the context of the overall market. Now, this is something I'd want to see. Now, let's say we sit here and price starts to break out here and we see one, two, three, right? And then we start to break out with kind of power. Look at this. We open, pull right back to this breakout level, okay? And we could tell this is a nice breakout, right? If you look, okay, support, fail, resistance, resistance, try resistance, fail, and then break out of a bull flag has, and then we kind of start to work our way up. Well, here's a pullback. Yeah, look at this, this breakout level, okay? Because there's really nothing to the left right here. It's not like this, right? We're breaking out here. Like if we saw this breakout, we have all of this, right to the left so is so meaning if you poke your head up is there anything to the left here if you poke your head up there's nothing to the left right so as we pull back i would be looking to get long on this move and remember at the eight period uh, EMA, I'd be looking to get long. It also is the breakout period. And look at the massive move you had. And again, I'm not saying for me, I'd probably take a point, two points, three points, or maybe front run this prior swing high because we were making lower highs, lower lows. But if I saw this, I'd probably jump out right around this 22 level. That'd be good for about three or four points, right? And my risk really isn't that much because look. Look at how close the 20 period, my stop would be a close of a two minute candle below this 20 period. And so we kind of bounce. Now, as we're coming back, will I get long here? Probably not. Um, and the reason I say that is it's moved too much too far. But look at this. Let's say you did take this long here. Yes, it fell. But you never got stopped out. Yes, it breached the 20 period, but you never got stopped out because the stop or you remember your stop is a close of the bar below the red line, the 20 period. Right. So I hope that kind of makes sense. And look at that. So, yes, you took a little heat. It went down, but then you had this massive, massive bounce all the way back up. So um, I hope that kind of helps. Uh, look for divergences. Look for breakouts. Look to the left of the chart to sum it all up. But it's a very simple, easy, basic strategy. But if you're patient and you know what to look for, these there's many, many opportunities. And the only way you'll really understand is by watching this 
all day, every day, do your 10,000 hours, I guarantee you, you can make a good living trading the S&P E-mini futures for just a very basic strategy. Now, the first couple of trades you might lose, I would definitely say trade the micro futures, right? Or first day trade them if you have no clue what you're doing. Just watch, right? Maybe write it on a piece of paper, use a uh, paper money account, but don't use real money while you're trying to use the learn this strategy, right? But it is a great strategy. You will see it work over and over and over. Look at this, kind right? Breakout, really nothing to the left, right? As it breaks out, pulls back. Look at how small your risk is, right? And boom, get this nice ride up uh, even here, right? So, so just things to look for with uh, this strategy. So I hope you guys like this. Uh, let me know if you guys like this type of video. I will make more. Just leave a link in the uh, description. And until next time, we'll talk to you soon. Thank you.